are made of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why? Because no one actually knows. <sighs> Here we go. This will this will work for the theme of the just fucking you're about to walk into. So when last we, uh, so first off, welcome to the late starting episode 53 of the uh, campaign. Don't even fucking worry about why it's late, but we're doing it anyways. Uh, <clears throat> last we left off, things looked kind of fucky. You pretty handily deleted a spoop who was trying to eat Jinx's fa eat uh, Giacchio's face. By hand, they mean I don't even think he got uh, like more than one turn. Son of a bitch, hold on. Uh, oh no. Okay. I meant went to hit mute tab and accidentally closed tab. Oops. Yeah, after dealing with the last spoop in the, uh, the fun house, gathering things, question mark, that might be useful. You don't know what for, but to do something. Started to leave and heard just absolutely terrified screaming over the, over your, your over your comms. Said screams belonged to the members of Dragon Roar who had gone to the freak show. Who you can currently see on the map right now. <clears throat> when you arrived, Marcus was standing behind Victoria, who was curled up on the ground, just like hugging herself and like sort of rocking back and forth and like couldn't hear, but it's, maybe she was muttering to herself because you heard like weird, terrified noises out of both Roy and Rhea, who were across the room and just on the ground. Roy, like, on his stomach, laid out, just like, he's looking in your direction, but it's like he doesn't even see you. He's just, like, crying and looks broken. Rhea's flat on her back across the way, and you don't know what her expression is, but she's breathing. And you saw the, the, the weird-ass fucking demon thing, which, to describe it again for reference, roughly a Adult male human torso, normal-ish arms with like pointy finger claw, claw fingers, some spikes on its back. From the waist down, it resembles like a weird, one of those like sphere bodied like spider droid things with four like elephant legs coming out of it and two really weird long whippy tails. You can't see its face, but it looks... Like you try to turn like an octopus head into a, a crab carapace or some shit like that. At least from the much of it you're able to see. It's pretty fucking weird though. And it didn't fully seem to register you. It was just trying to grab Marcus, who grabbed it, proceeded to basically turn into a very pissed off draconic version of the human torch and declare that the monster would pay. <laughs> And uh, with y'all caught up, I need everyone to roll initiative. Oh boy. I selected my token roll 20, don't you lie. I'm dumb. And for reference to the viewers at home, the Marcus on the pillar is not actually technically there. Yeah, the weird fire draconic token that's next to the fear demon is supposed to be him. I just yeah, have it. That's initiative, Darian. Darian. Me. Darian doesn't oh, know it, but he's already day. failed his 10, saving. So. Darian doesn't know. Oh man, terrain. Well, hey, I got more than two. 
I'd say have Fenless go before Panma because he had he actually had a higher base roll. We've still got twenty three. Uh, oh yeah, no, he, he had a he definitely wins because his uh his dex mod is higher base. Higher. You only got that far because uh, Jack of all trades adds half your proficiency to th anything, including initiative. So yes, he would go first. All right, Marcus got plus that. His... Plus, if I'm reading it right, his dex mod is higher anyway. Yeah. If they had both got 18 and... If they would both gotten 23 and uh, his dex mod wasn't higher... Then, yeah. It would have been Padma first. Or come down to some other tiebreaker, but don't worry about it. All right. Good job, Rhea. But Roy, Roy's not looking so hot. <laughs> okay, okay. Victoria, pretty, pr pretty respectable. Though she goes before Marcus because her initiative bonus is better than his. How about the spoopy man? Where's yours? There it is. Hmm, not terribly great. Okay. Re reasonable. Reasonable. Now I need to just make sure I have everyone else. Where is the boof? There's the boof. Let's open his sheet. And roll a uh, boofative. <laughs> boofative. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Now for Arvin. Shabba. Okay. <laughs> well, now it needs an actual tiebreaker between him and Fenless, so uh, Darian, <laughs> uh, roll me a d20. <laughs> Arvin goes first. <laughs> well, let's put it this way, Darian, because at least you got that one on that. <laughs> At least, yeah, you, you you worked one out. Don't worry about it. Yeah, get the net, not, get the net runs out of the way not, now. <laughs> yeah, not like me and Ren. Oh shit, Snick! Uh, roll me a d20 as well because you tied with Roy. And yeah, you had the exact same initiative modifier. Roy goes first. Okay, okay. Need that turn order all the way over. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's something. What was that? Something about the people with more than one character all kind of going last? Yeah. Hey, look at it this way. It gives you the extra time you need to think because... You are working two characters. Yeah. Both very one track minded characters. Yeah, explosions and justice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Snack is pew pew and beep boop. I already knew what both of them were going to do, but it's not going to work now because everyone's going to keep away by the time they get a turn. Where? There, there are other things you can do, and you also have no idea what the fuck is going on. So. Starting it off, uh, Arvin C's demon is now in the grip of very angry Durgan man. So, where can he move again? Arvin, you have a lot of speed, don't you? Pretty sure you do. Yeah, you do. Uh, just a double check for the sake of dark velocity. How brightly is this lit? Um. We, uh, actually, hold on, let me, speaking of that, I need to actually put something on this token. I assume it's brightly lit enough that I can't trigger Dark Velocity effect. Okay, you see that area there? 
Uh huh. That is bright light that is coming off of Marcus right now. Okay. If it's beyond that, it's dim or darker. Okay, so I do have dark velocity. Yeah, you, you until you get into that orange, that orange aura, you have your full speed bonus. Okay. Just checking. Thank you. Also, fun fact: if you left click on your token and then right click, you'll get a rangefinder to help you move. I discovered that not too long ago. It's pretty great. You left click on your token and then what? And then as you're like moving to drag it, hit right tap your right click, and you'll have rangefinder and. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yep. Nice. Very handy. <laughs> So Arvin's going to go over here. And uh, see if he can discern what the fuck is going on with Roy. Starting with an Arcana check. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Arvin does know what's going on with Roy. And he's a little looks a little confused by it. He's now like trying to look around trying to figure something out, but that will be his turn. Fenless, you're up. Darian? Uh -oh. Sorry, I was muted. <laughs> I can see straight ahead to where the yellow orb is and everything inside. There's no Yeah, you can it. see it very easily. It's only glowing because Marcus is literally made of fire right now. <laughs> All right. So this is to the team. Who would you like to target first? Well, I mean, there's only seems to be the one thing. Well, you have the fire dragon, and then you have fire dragon. Well, the fire is dragon is Marcus. Wow, he basically made he turned into he, a human. He's torch. basically human torching it up right now, but since he is dragon man, it looks like Durgan. Okay, so we're looking at the thing to his not his yeah. Dragon. Okay, that one. That thing you're pinging. That's the that's the monster. That he apparently holds responsible for what has happened in here. Actually, that's a good point. That's the thing I need to note on both of them. Currently, it is grappled because Marcus has it. You are very hard to hear. We're sorry. Reject, Rin. No, I don't think it's him. I think his mic is being shit. I also don't know what he's using, so... Alright, I'm gonna Six. use Chill Wind on, uh... Strange spell attack... Fortunately, that does not hit. Uh... Yeah, need better than a 16. And as Ruben was trying to say... Uh, you click on the clock and you push a number on your keyboard. Uh, I, I will demonstrate yeah, with the go. boof right now, he, with this. He's got it, yeah. I got it. Do boop. I just had to think of how many rounds technically passed after I booked it the other place. Let me go ahead and say yeah, that's fair. Uh, as far as I can tell, you can only go up to nine, though. So. Yeah, you can only go up to nine. You can have it set to zero, but that doesn't help anyone at all. Well, it starts at ten, but you used four, so... Yeah. All right, is that all you got then, Darian? Yep, that's it. All right. Padma.
Yeah, okay. So, do, do I'm gonna move here and then on Roy. Come here. Character sheet, thank you. Since Roy look is, looks kind of battered, I'm going to cast this. On him. Uh, let's see. Creature of your choice, Strange Last Reservation. Turns. Okay, so he has a uh, he has Healy thing. What should I mark for Healy thing? You know what? Let's use up to one minute. So we'll just stick that with a nine on him. He looks. As you walk over and, you know, slap the healing on him, because he did, him, Rhea, Marcus, and Victor all look kind of fucked up. The the ones who aren't currently on fire at the most fucked up. <laughs> but uh, even as you heal him, though, he's still just, like, laying on the ground, his eyes wide. He doesn't seem to be responsive. Oh, dear. Is that your turn? Yeah. Okay. Does Rhea wake up? Pretty good constitution. Wait a minute. Is that the right thing? Let me double check my notes. Wait, wake up? <laughs> I see how you're getting that. She's flat out on the ground, man. Like you're gonna see the move making sure I have all this correct from my notes. I think I realize how you're doing the thing. Oh, I rolled that wrong. That's a check, not a save. And it also needs to be a different stat, which she's honestly even better at. And she's not rolling at disadvantage now. Still did terrible. Good job, Rhea. So on the improper roll, she rolled a 24 total. On the correct roll, she rolled a 13 total. Awesome. So, no, Rhea is still out cold. How about Victoria? Let me make sure I have her saves correct. Rogues are... Doesn't have that ability, so she can't keep the bonus. Up, up, up. Uh... Next other Okay. Her wisdom's still pretty okay. It's got a plus four modifier. Victoria is still unresponsive. Now it's Marcus's turn. You just hear, hear this. It's very concerning hearing the roar of a full-fledged dragon coming from a man who's just, you know... Maybe about seven and a half feet tall instead. I mean, that's still fucking huge. <laughs> yeah, let me see. Does the monster make its save? Let's find out. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, he, he might not. Nope. <laughs> and uh, once you see just this flaming draconic effigy scream in his face in this monster's face you know something that you didn't think was possible to discern it appears afraid teach the fear demon the concept of fear <laughs> yeah it's own shit's kind of being used against it two can play at this game That was his bonus action for his actual action. Oh, oh, right. It does that. Hmm. Okay. All right, Marcus. How do you, do you hit this man? I think you're going to hit this man. Actually, hold on. How's the grappled condition work in 5e? 5e grappled condition. What do you do? Does this give advantage to the person who's about to hit you? Grapple creature speed is kind of speed. Mm, 
Okay, there's no nothing about advantage. What about frightened? Okay. So that thing's just gonna be <laughs> Okay, so this won't have an advantage, but let's see if it hits anyways. Yeah it does. Yeah it does. Mm-hmm. That 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 touches. Its AC isn't 26 after all. Alright, let's see about that damage. <clears throat> Oh wait, oops, that's the wrong number. It's actually supposed to be this. There we go! <clears throat> As uh, you notice now, Marcus just like tightens his grip on its arm, and you start hearing the sizzling of flesh in its arms. It's now trying to like pull away from him. And it just like screams in pain as its arm starts to burn. That will end Marcus's turn. Start of its turn. It takes damage because it's in Marcus's aura. Takes another twenty-two points of fire damage. <coughs> Is a very angry dragon. <laughs> see, oh, hmm, sir, you're you're gonna have a bad time tempting that. He's gonna try to break the grapple. All right, there's that. How about Marcus's? Oh God, that's um that that's a that's an athletic boy. Okay. Yeah, no, natural 20 ain't going fucking nowhere. It's it's stuck in his range. And it's you see it like slapping at his arm and like not able to really do much. It's trying to get him to let go, but it can't. Because there's just this iron vice made of fire clinging to him. Giacchio. Let's see. I'm going to, seeing how the cousins are taking care of Roy, I'm going to start making my way towards Rhea. Mm -hmm. I'm just double checking ranges here. Okay. okay. For my action, oh, why did I close my character sheet? Why did I do that? Fool. I am a fool. Foolish fool. For my action, I will pop in a blissful flame orb over Fear Demon's head. All the fire. All the fire. Burn. And that's going to have this bomb icon on it to emphasize the fire. And then for a bonus action, let me double check that it is a bonus action. Is that correct? No, that's correct. There we go. Mm. It makes a save, so it only takes 10 damage. Yay. However, even as you just deposit this orb of just hellfire above it and it starts getting beamed, it doesn't give a fuck about what that thing's doing. It's more concerned with get, let go, no, stop, go away, bad, no. <gasps> Alright. I know I have it. Uh, where did it go on this sheet? God dang it. <laughs> I'm sorry. There it is. Bonus action. I'm going to throw Blood Maledict Heal at Rhea. Alright. Plus 10 HP. Again, even as you, you know, send out the little silver wave of healing, doesn't seem to elicit any response from her. Joy. Boof's turn. If I'm not mistaken, he has not teleboofed today. 
Oh boy, the teleboofing. I was about to say that's more than likely going to be his first plan of act. I say my other guess for his first plan of act should be walk over to one of the friends and try to sl doggo slobber them awake. Uh, no, before the teleboofing comes out, hold on, I need to grab their tokens now. Is he going to a woo? Where the fuck are they? There they are. Abu. <laughs> the boof squad has arrived. I believe that is his bonus action to use them again. Yes, it is. Bonus action, Abu. Action, Cape of the Montback. Teleboof. And action, Surge. Here comes the touch. Two, three, and four. Wow, that is, I think, the lowest damage I've ever seen off the boof. On one of those things, and to be fair, Pain Carla rolled really low. So that's... Up, up, up. Now, this is mildly troubling for those of you who see Celestine going, you know, little drummer boof on this, you know, just abomination. Uh, it doesn't look like it's taking as much damage as it should be from that. Like, any part of it. Oh, good. You did notice, however, it seemed very much to not like the fire, so either there's something screwy here, or it just doesn't like fucking fire. <laughs> it doesn't like fire, you say. Mm hmm That's the boof's turn. Speaking of fire... Doggos need to advance yeah, to be within range. Fire. Bonus. Two easy poof, man. Yeah, Jonna, you're up. Let me just check something real quick. Perfect. Oh. It doesn't seem like being on fire. Let's set it on fire some more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh <laughs> Well then. Let me actually get the damage number for that because it does matter. Ah, whoa! Loud. It's that was a lot of bass. Nine times six plus five. That's fifty-nine. Okay. Thank you for that. And that's assuming it doesn't make it safe. You forgot number six, it's actually six Yeah, it would be sixty-five then. <laughs> if there's another six, that would indeed be sixty-five, so. Oh right, I'm I'm terrible at numbers, don't mind me, sorry. Uh Okay, so it's 65. Let's see. Do, do you make your save? It does. Even with the frame to disadvantage. Dizinj on ability checks and attack rolls, not saving throws. Okay. So that's 
So half of 65 is... 32. 30. Yeah, 32. Well, darn, he's not on fire. He's not as on fire. He's still pretty on fire. <clears throat> and But even as you just fucking immolate this fucker, he still doesn't register you as the cause of the bad. It it For whatever reason, it seems to think that Marcus is burning it more. Actually, is he considered on fire right now? Uh, Given how he's in the aura, yes. Good, because I still have a catch I can use. This makes it easier for this to happen. He's already on fire. He has disadvantage on that. <laughs> That's a fair point. It's a good thing, too, because he rolled lower on the first one. It's another 17. <clears throat> All right, Roy's turn. Roy, can you wake the fuck up? Okay, so that doesn't apply to this. What do they have for saves? Okay. Double checking on his classes. Do they have it? I don't think they do. Oh, they do. Which one did he take at level one? Oh. All right, buddy. Let's see if you can make it now. All righty. Uh, hold on, let me scroll back up to the Healy thing, Healy Rejection. And... At the end of each of its turns, okay. <clears throat> so, Roy suddenly, like, run, fl flips over completely with, a, like, a panic shout and, like, sits up, looks around, seems very confused. Where is it? Where is he? What is turn C Sparkus? Oh God! Oh, you woke up. Good. <laughs> um, uh, uh, stop him! Stop him now, please, God! How? <clears throat> he uh, half his movement, hopped to his feet. Up, uh, up, um, uh, he looks very panicked, flustered to try to figure out what's going on. He's not looking at the monster. He's looking directly at Marcus. What happens if we don't stop him? Don't want that. Just don't. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just, I'm going to assume terrible things. Uh, 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 Marcus, Roy, where the fuck is your spell list, you piece of shit? Um, uh, uh, um, he just like starts like clapping. Like, hey, hey, hey! Snap out of it! And you, as he's doing it, you also see like some little incanting, and he casts healing word at what level? What level is he doing it? He's doing it at fourth level, so that's a seventeen points of healing to Marcus. And for, for like the briefest instance, you see the flames flicker in a way that suggests like they're trying, they're like might be dying a little bit, but they flickered in response to the healing spell. It's like, oh God, will that work? Will that work? Um, uh, plan B. And he's going to use Eldritch Blast. <clears throat> Wait, no, I'm sorry. Let me see that. One, two... Three and four. Good job. Roy, you rolled a natural 20 on one of those. 
That's a total of... Plus... That... Okay, yeah. Minus then... Okay. Curiously, even as four of these, like, weird, almost flame-colored eldritch beams shoot out from his hand towards the monster and impact it, poof, even those don't seem to be hurting as much as you think they should be, and Jacquio knows they should be hurting it a fair bit more because he knows that spell. Because one of those also, like, hit it directly in the mouth as it was, like, screaming. <laughs> yeah, that's, that was the crit. Just... <laughs> But it it's still oh, more focused on dear. all of the business that is Marcus trying to burn it. Let me just roll that D6 for extra healing from Halo Rejuvenation. Another three for Roy. <clears throat> and Snack, you're up. Okay. Um, I suppose I'll just move over this way. And I will shoot the scoop roll to shoot twenty one hits so yeah both of those hit oh wait you have an advantage because you got friendlies near it anyway <clears throat> and much like a lot of other things it's not hurting as much as it you pretty sure it should be hurting it you can tell it's not, like, yeah. resistant to non-magical weapons because, well, you have magic guns. It just seems generally kind of resilient to getting hurt. Maybe. You're not fully sure you understand what's happening with this thing. He's a thick-skinned motherfucker. For the most part, Snackbot. Well, okay, I'm going to move, um... move one more uh, is that bug going um, to attempt to beam I don't know if I don't know if I can hit it without clipping the booth hmm Uh, you can't. Because that's as far as you can move, right? Yeah. Yeah, unless you can't hit him without clipping the boof as well. Yeah, so I guess Snackbot will just prepare a nice cup of coffee for some... <laughs> Already action coffee. Gotcha. <laughs> I, I have a sneaking suspicion we're all going to need coffee after this. <laughs> going to need a lot of things. Justice, I mean Stormfront, I mean Terrain. It's time to do some things. Slightly different than my original plan, but this will work. Just make sure this is Okay, you guys have Oh. Justice gives you wings. I'm gonna use my turbo haste move to fly over and punch it in the face. Uh. I think you can actually get farther without flying. Yeah. I think. Yeah, just running would get you there because of all the fucking shit you've got stacked up. Alright, I assume you're going to punch. Basically, 
damage, so. Well, that, that hits. Now it's got to see if it can make that strength save to not careen into Marcus and take more damage. I, I don't think it's got a... Hmm, it doesn't have a good shot at this. Natural one. Well, since it didn't move, that's 20 feet and couldn't move. So, uh, yeah, roll me 4d6, please. Okay. <clears throat> now, the damage from you hitting it, it seemed to have taken that like a champ. The damage from it hitting Marcus, however, not so much. And indeed, because it was violently shoved into Marcus, it takes even more damage because Marcus is on fire. Yep. And the grapple is not broken. <laughs> no. It didn't leave Marcus's grasp because exactly. he got punched towards Marcus. Exactly. <laughs> Let me see. Where was the damage for that? There it is. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Turkey dirt. Another 22 points of fire damage. What's up? I want to check. See. Uh, action. Action. Nope. So is that your turn? Yeah, both things I was thinking of using are actions as I can. Okay. Alright, Arvin's up. <clears throat> Sees Roy is, I guess, fine. He's not entirely sure. He's then going to hustle over to Victoria. <clears throat> then as an action, Dimension Door, him and her, over to here. And is this fucker still in range? Yes, he is. I Why did I lock onto train? That thing. Because that was his action to cast his spell, which means... Rune fence your things. So let's just throw Flavunger. Good job, Arvin. Oh, oops, I've got to do something. Oh, well. It's fine. He did the thing, it took some damage. Fenless, you're up. Hmm. Oh, okay, so now... God, there's... I can't... Everything that I have is like an AOE circle drop. <laughs> hmm. No, it didn't want to open Celestine's character sheet. Put that away. Thank you. Roll 20. Uh, no Rin because the Justice Punch is a spell. Okay. Technically speaking. Why did you need to take? Because I had radiant selective. Ah. Punched him, so it takes 15 extra radiant damage. Ah. That, you notice, does actually seem to hurt him just like perfectly fine. Like he's a demon.
Ooh, I like how the new dice roll is just a pop out thing. struggle during it being an AOE caster and a bunch of melee people. Yeah. Well, no moonbeam. I will err on the side of caution and just redo Still misses. That is so sad. Fenless. Let's like play Despacito. <laughs> and no, Snackbot cannot have Despacito installed. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> Snackbot so I thought Snack was typing about him like, oh, don't you fucking dare. No. Snackbot, play Despacito. <laughs> this is so sad. Snackbot, play Despacito. <laughs> I mean, don't don't the dude, from <laughs> from <laughs> okay. Despacito hey. is not Doot. I'm saying there, but I'm also a bard. Oh, we could, we could, we could sell a boot box in him just because. He does have one built into him. Y'all are forgetting you have a bard that can play Despacito. Oh god, no. With bagpipes. <laughs> oh god. Now your turn then, Darian? Yep, that's it. Alright. Padma. Do -do 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 -do. Hmm. Roy tried to heal the fire dragon that was Roy, huh? Yeah. He he attempted a heal on the the angry boy. Something happened. Hmm. Move there. Some of it. Actually, I actually have to move. Into the fire a bit. Right, Mar that's Marcus Ragnar, you. That's just Marcus Ragnar, you pain in the ass. Oh, wait, shit. Mark Roy would have had to move up as well because Healing Word has a range of 30 feet, so he'd actually have to be like right here by Giacchio. That is right, right. The aura is just bright light. It's not fire. It's bright light because of fire, yes. Fire yeah, no, she's not catching fire. The only thing that seems to be catching fire in the OR currently is the monster. Otherwise, you know, we'd have some singed cover. Uh, It'd be a lot of burning. Terrain's flying, right? I mean, he, I can't fly, but I'm not currently he, airborne. He's on the ground. Well, he might want to catch fire. Well, he might want to fly because Padma is, like, searing to stop him and... Is casting that starting about here ish going up? So it's 10 feet this way and then 30 feet this way. No. Uh, so, well, so it'll crash go. directly. It'll stop at Marcus if you, unless you're trying to stop it on the monster. Try to stop it on the monster. So it'll be. So, like. Do, do, do. Just tell me from like. A very damp dragon. That's going to be hilarious. <laughs> My, uh, hey, Roy said stop him. She doesn't know why, but you know what? Sploosh! Hey, it's a good call. It's a good call. Let's see. What it is your spell like... save DC, Tori? My spell save DC is 19. All right. Spell. Oh. <laughs> I sure I had this right. Okay. And up to ten feet tall, so yeah. Yeah, it'll it'll, it'll definitely reach Marcus. <laughs> of 
all the times it's not true on your saving throw, Marcus, I'm glad it was at something that's trying to technically help you. What about Spooky Boy? Oh, wow. The... <laughs> he has a good modifier. Rolled a two on the die. <laughs> Whereas Marcus has shit modifier and rolled shit on the die. So they... he, is, he is meant to punch, not so, or meant to hit things in melee. Not so much uh, shooting. Oh, he does have a gun. So they both failed. Yeah, so Tori, roll me 48. They're both prone. And unprotected flames, it within 30 feet are extinguished. <laughs> yep. So there's a 13. All right. So he is damn angry boy, and he's currently up. Do I have to roll that twice since it was two creatures that got Oh uh, No, that's just for the, all of them. Okay. Oh, good. The, the spell, for an AoE spell like that, you just roll the damage once, and everything gets hit with that. You said okay. it's only it's 10 feet. It's modified per creature that gets hit. You said it's only it's 10 feet tall, right? Yeah. Okay, good. My fl my abyssal flame worm is still good because it's twenty feet up. <laughs> yeah, it's also well above the thing. It wouldn't be stopped by a tidal wave anyways because it can't take damage. So he now has a lot of conditions on him because now he's prone too. Oh, he's there's... afraid. He's been grabbed. He's on fire. <laughs> Just wait till it's my turn. I'm gonna throw another condition on there. Marcus is prone. What, I would say not if they both got knocked prone. They're they're both prone. To be fair, prone doesn't say anything about uh like reducing decks. Like they have to be pulled apart. Yeah, he either has to break free, Marcus yeah, has to like, let go, or he has to be one of them has to be forcibly ripped away from the other. Yeah, here here's here's the description for it in the official in the official like phrasing for the grappled condition. The condition ends if the grappler is incapacitated. So Marcus hat would have to be knocked out cold. Or the condition also ends if the if the effect removes the grappled creature from the reach of the grappler or grappling effect, such as when the creature is hurled away by the thunder wave spell. So if terrain had say stood like next to Celestine at all and punched this guy, it would have it would have yeeted him out of Marcus's grasp. But since you punched him at Marcus, well, he didn't go no fucking nowhere. Yeah. Or, of course, if Marcus voluntarily lets go of the grapple, that ends it. Mm-hmm. That doesn't seem to be happening right now. Nope. Oh boy! Fireboy has multiple bars. I know. <laughs> oh god! I, oh, I noticed. I made sure I thought the thing up so you guys could see them. Yeah. I, I noticed the blue one earlier. I turns to Roy. I attempted. I noticed the blue one earlier. I'm like, yeah. okay, and now I see a red one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no fear has just gone up to one fear. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, trust me, I'm still get like five fears, but then again, I actually know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, you do. Okay, so Marcus and the thing are prone. He's still on fire, but you could, so you could like see steam coming off him a little bit. The creature is still, the fire's been doused because you, you know, still did 13 points of damage to it. But it didn't seem to take a lot of damage from that. And if anything, it seems like, Maybe appreciative that it's no longer entirely on fire, but it's still got this fucker burning its hand, so it's like... Nyeh! It's like now trying to like... It's really weird seeing this thing on the ground trying to like slap its way to its feet to get up and try to pull away. Because it's now just like flailing a little bit. Alright, is that your turn? <laughs> yeah, Padma just kind of turns to, Z uh, to um, Roy. I made an attempt! He, he just like gives you like that awkward like thumbs up. <laughs> He's not even looking at you. Just like, eh, appreciate it. All right, Rhea. Will you actually wake the fuck up this time? Like, goddamn, if your idiot brother can do it, you should be able to do it. You're better at this than he is. Rhea, someone's stealing all your cookies. That worked. <laughs> <laughs> In a very surreal instant, you suddenly see 
like that whole like from the back just like fucking f worm flip to her feet just f ready to like punch someone just like hey, who, 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 what the oh no good thing she oh, no, didn't no, no, make no 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 and what was her movement for that let me double check monks because monks are fucking stupid like how there's literally like a fear demon they're just more scared of Marcus right now there's reasons there there's a lot of reasons Okay, half her movement, so she's still down to that. And so... Monks get insane movement at high level. Yeah, no, she has 60 movement <laughs> base. <laughs> so even with half her movement to get back up, she still has 30. But she'll just uh, key point bonus action step of the wind up to Marcus. And she is going to try to grapple him. While he's slightly damp? He's well, he's still, he's still on fire. He's still on fire. He's slightly steamy, but he's still on fire. Those are some <clears> intense <throat> flames. <laughs> Dragon fire, yo. There, there's the reason why this uh, mercenary group is called Dragon Roar, bitch. I also have a feeling it was a good thing Shiakyo didn't make it to Rhea, because the way you described her waking up, Shiakyo you probably would have gotten hit yet again. <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, if anything, she might have, like, grabbed his throat like she was going to choke him and then stopped, but that's about as far as it would have gone. He would have... <laughs> I was just thinking in my head, he would have gotten slapped by yet another woman. <laughs> and this was a level 20 monk, so that would have hurt. Oh, yeah. That would have fucking hurt. <laughs> yeah. Because, <laughs> for reference, all these PC, uh, NPCs are level 20 player characters to give you an idea of what you're dealing with. Alright, what is the fucking... How do I make a grab attempt? Google 5e grappling rules. Because I've never actually attempted this. I think it's a contested strength check. Possibly. Roll 20 compendium grappling. A special melee attack to grapple. Make multiple attacks... Oh, I want to... I mean, it's terrible choice of attack roll strength athletics. She has good strength, and no, oh, wow, she actually has pretty good athletics. <clears throat> okay, he's so... the monk. Very true, very true. But monks technically function more off of dexterity than than strength. Okay, not great, not great. How about uh, Marcus attempting to resist the grapple? No, she doesn't get fucking headed, but she can keep trying because she's a fucking monk. <laughs> She got two attacks, so attempt two. Better. How about Marcus? Okay, now she's got him, and he's got the monster. <laughs> <clears throat> and it, it looks like she's trying to pull him off the monster, but she does, however, take some damage. I also need to check a thing. Where is it? Where is it? Where the fuck is it? Come on, you stupid thing. There you are. Okay. You also notice as she goes to like grab him that her hands like are kind of like vaguely wreathed and it looks like fire, but like projected on like this on a wall by like a photo projector in like high school or whatever so it's not like real flames but there's something flaming around her hands and it seems to be helping at least not totally get her burnt but she still takes some damage Ugh. yeah she still takes 16 points of fire damage from trying to grapple marcus <clears throat> she's like come on big guy let go that's her turn. Victoria, can you wake up? Stop your dumbass friend. <laughs> Is that enough? Does that beat the... Just made it. <clears throat> Victoria jolts the consciousness and first instinct, his elbow goes out, catches Arvin right in the dick. 
Oh, poor guy. Are we... <coughs> Fortunately, she's not strong, so that's only like one point of bludgeoning damage. Or wait, no, my mistake. That's actually three one points plus of bludgeoning strength damage. Mod. It's one plus her strength mod. Her strength is not great, but she is not meant to be wrestle. <coughs> he like kind of doubles over a little bit. Doesn't look like it hurt too much, but ow! He got hit in the jug. Yeah, he'll, he'll live, but he got hit it, in the it was, jug. Also, to to you, Giacchio, it looked like very much like that horse mule kick reflex, but it was just her elbow instead. Oof. It would have been a lot worse if it had actually been her feet. Let me put it that way. Yeah, it's a good thing she's kneeling, and then she just like, poof, went there because he had a hand on her shoulder to, you know, teleport her. And he just, mm, mm, mm. She's like, oh, it's, I'm sorry. Oh, no. And then she realizes, here's like the flickering, looks over. Oh, no. Gets up. What does she have to do? Bonus action, she also has. Also has the healing word. <clears throat> she's also, despite snapping out of whatever trance she was in, she still looks a little, like, not all quite there. <clears throat> so she's just gonna. <laughs> she's gonna bardic inspiration, Marcus. <laughs> and it's less. I don't have the words for it off the top of my head right now, but she, it's less her like trying to inspire him to do something cool and more just like trying to soothe the savage beast. So he has an inspiration die that will be at what level is it? The No, that's too far. Wrong fucking button. Scram. Bard it would be at her level. It's a D eight, so he has a bonus D eight to do something, and there's no fucking telling what the hell that's going to mean. Because <laughs> now it's his turn. <clears throat> he is on the ground, still trying to grab, still holding on to this monster by the arm, and has now been grabbed while on the ground by Rhea, <laughs> who is standing next to him. She's like, basically got him by like the leg. And he is going to <clears throat> try to break the grapple as he stands. Hmm. 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 Nope, Rhea cannot get a good grip, keep her grip on him, and he just stands right up. He is still holding the monster, and he, like, half drags it to his feet as he stands. <clears throat> and then he shifts his attention from it just slightly. Mine! And... Bonus action. I need a... Dexterity saving throw from Terrain, Celestine, and Rhea. So, Rin, roll me a save. Actually, no, this would be a strength saving throw. My bad. I'll back in just a second. Okay. All right, Rhea, how about you? Wow, good job, everybody. So as he proclaims that, you all hear like this, the flames on him like erupt a bit brighter and you just feel this hot gust of wind. If you were close enough to him, you would have been knocked back 20 feet if you didn't make that save. You're suddenly knocked back like 10, <laughs> except for the monster because he's still holding it. Oh, one sec, be right back. Okay. And because he's a fighter, a second, where is my water bottle? I need a water bottle. Mm. Water bottle, my throat. <clears> throat> 
Oh god, that's so much better. Mm. Ha. Huh. <clears throat> Going to action surge now. And he's gonna start beating the living shit out of this monster. <laughs> All of those hit. <clears throat> and uh, Jaokyo, to you, it looks very surreal because he just starts, he's still holding me by the arm, he lifts it and just starts <laughs> beating this thing against the ground. And every time it hits, it catches fire again. So let me see about that damage. Oh, that's weird. What? Got something in the mail from San Gabriel, California. Unless... That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where San Gabriel is. <laughs> Small box, so. From what I'm seeing. Uh, yeah, the strength save was to not get knocked back 20 feet. On a save, you only oh, get knocked back my, half um... as far. Oh, okay. It was a little pin I ordered from a, a Kickstarter thing. Neat. And uh, <clears throat> while you guys are away, Marcus is now taking to just, like, picking up the monster and is now beating it against the ground, and every time it hits the ground, it catches fire again. And, uh... Let me show you how much damage he did across all four of those hits, because he is a level 20 fighter. <gasps> That's 5d6 plus 6 per hit. Seeing Marcus's actions, could I infer that he's in a similar state of mind where, as I was at the end of dealing with my uncle? You can infer he's more pissed off than you were at that point in your life. You can very easily infer that, like, he eclipses any amount of fury you've ever held in your heart. It's bad. <clears throat> yeah, he's... More fury, but basically the same position. So I can infer what exactly I'm trying to stop Marcus from doing here. You're, you're inferring you need to calm him down, at least. You don't really want to stop him from killing the monster. It's like, calm the boy! Just don't make him... Just make sure it, that thing's dead. Because <laughs> he sure as fuck is. Let me see. How did, how did I have that put up again? Okay, so he only took... Actually, no, he just took the full damage for that, because it's fucking Mark. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have that on the note. Okay, yeah, so that's... Uh, 84 damage to the beefy boy. <clears throat> and uh, since Marcus picked it up, it's no longer prone, which doesn't really seem to be that much good better for it, because <laughs> it's still scared as shit. Okay, use your action. Okay, so he can't actually do that. I was wondering if he could do his Dragonborn Breath Weapon, but he can't. So that would require an action, and him to have not just fucking... That would be uh, vicious. I could yeah, just imagine... Yeah, he could action, fire breath on top of that. Well, actually, it would have been, been fire or lightning, because Marcus has both. I can just envision him doing that point blank at the guy. That's just brutal. There, there is, There is not a happy fun Dragonborn in this room right now. Monster's turn. Seeing as how physically get a turn. <clears throat> it's second turn total. Uh, does that abyssal flame orb strike it at the start of the turn or not? Uh, end. Okay. I double. Let me triple check here just to make sure. 
Oh, huh. I forgot I gave it that. It's a good thing you were scared shitless last turn and have done that. Yeah, it's <sighs> at the end. Well, on the plus side for the monster, it uses Misty Step, so it's no longer grappled. Shit. And it's instead going to appear... No, I grab the token. Give me it. I was just typing out that I meant to actually get to do an action because I'm breaking out of the grapple of the users early. So. Yeah, it doesn't say they can't cast spells, so... Bless you. <clears throat> Bless you. It also attempts to just keep running out this way, but it hits the <clears throat> hits the tent, which acts more like a solid wall than you think it should have. Huh? And it's now like clawing at the tent, trying to like cut through it to get out. And it's making noises that imply that it's absolutely terrified beyond all logic or reason. And uh, how far could that orb move to chase it, Jinx? 30. Oh, yeah. So roll the beam again. <laughs> Is it still within 30 feet? Yeah. Oh, no, it moved. So well, it, I'm going to roll it again. But... Mm. Whatever's underneath it at 30 where feet. It teleported to. Because <laughs> it went from here to here. Yeah. And then it ran. So it's like, it's got this orb chasing it. Here's the beam. It starts scrambling more when it hears the explosion because it thinks Marcus is coming. <laughs> Well, it moves 30 feet in a straight line, so it'd probably be... Yeah, either square, don't matter. Yeah. In any either case... Either here's another flare behind it, and it's it's not... It it wants out. Let me go. Please. Oh, that's pretty, twin. All right, Giacchio. My turn. It's trying to get away. Once I move in there... Let's see. Five. I'm moving my token ahead of time. But as I'm moving, I'm going to be... Okay, two things. One, what happened to you guys? Second, what exactly are we stopping Marcus from doing besides just bad? <clears throat> You see this as you walk up next to Marcus! <laughs> like I said... I think it's the funniest part. Yeah, he's... He's half tunnel visioned. <laughs> on getting this creature. Um, let's see. And... <clears throat> For the reference, uh, Giacchio, it looks nothing like anything your uncle would have ever created, ever. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Just, just as a heads up. You you, you have a very strong suspicion. Yeah, no, my, my uncle had no hand here. Two more beams. Oh. <clears throat> you have multiple blasts of that. I know. I was trying to use the repeat again, but it wasn't working, so I get more. What do you got? <clears throat> and pistol shot because Mystic Frenzy. Pistol Which shot, misses. the second Eldritch Blast missed, the other two hit. Uh, and that would be my turn. <clears throat> and yes, Shiakyo was tunnel visioned enough on the creature that he would not think about the fact that he's pretty much walking right next to Marcus. Well, no, no matter how much tunnel vision you are, you're standing next to a per something made of fire right now. You don't miss that. You have a passive perception of 20 something. You are not unaware that you are right next to the very angry Dragonborn. Well, he says it nonetheless. Honestly, I thought you were walking up to me like, all right, so what the fuck is your problem? <laughs> no. That was my immediate thought. <laughs> Plus, he was just kind of shouting so everyone could hear him anyway, so it's like... Very true. He's not trying to 
whisper it to Roy or anything. He wants an explanation. <laughs> he doesn't know exactly what's going on other than that this thing needs to die. And Marcus needs to not be on fire. Mm, very angry. Well, he's not going to be he's going to be very not going to be very not angry until this thing's dead. <clears throat> All right. The boofs are going to The boofs don't want to get in the fire. So they're going to, you know, skirt around the edge. Well, the main boof is going to attempt to give chase. <clears throat> he cannot tell a boof again, sadly, so he's just going to just start hustling over. Kill the bad! <gasps> It's basically Celestine's turn. Uh, Rain, are you back yet? Yeah, I'm back. Cool, John is up. Rampaging angry fire dragon and a very petrified and fleeing deep dude. Mm hmm. <coughs> I'm guessing they've been screaming that we need to stop Marcus. Uh, Roy was the loudest one for. Confessing that <clears throat> Victoria like, was trying to calm him down, and Rhea was like just straight up trying to tackle the motherfucker. So basically, yes, stop him, but don't hurt him. Yeah, stop him without hurting him. Okay, that's easy enough. That's it. Are you inside a 90? Does not work. He makes a save. He rolled a total of 20. He rolled a total of 22. Like, as you, like, conjure the spell and the chains, like, start to grab him, as they start to try to restrain him, they just melt. They're made of magic, and they melt. And he, like, sort of, like, you actually, for a split second, feel, like, his gaze on you, and it honestly, it feels like the air around you, like, actually heats up. And then it's just gone as his head swivels back towards the monster. Too far for what? Pretty much anything that isn't lighting in one fire. Mm. <clears throat> All of the light on fire stuff is a lot shorter range. <clears throat> is that your turn then? All right.
Okay, there it is. <clears throat> All right, seeing that go down, Roy is going to. Is the range on that again? Oh, wow, that's pretty good. By the fact he, he has reservations about getting this close to Marcus right now, it's easy. He very hesitantly steps up to here. <clears throat> and just like, boss, chill. And he's going to cast Mass Healing Word at fourth level. So that becomes 11 points of healing to himself, Rhea, Victoria, and Giacchio, and Marcus. Go back up to something else real quick. Where the fuck did it go? God damn it. There it is. heal yourself there jinx yeah i did okay <clears throat> this is bonus action <clears throat> he's gonna try to hold a hold person for if marcus attempts to chase the thing though i mean the rest of his turn snack you're up Okay. The so Durgan is mad and the thing is trying to run. I'm going to move up here. Well, more like here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to once again shoot Spoop. Alright. Shoot Spoop. But I am also going to try to graze its. Ah. Alrighty. So, pew pew. First hit does not hit. First one does not hit because you don't have advantage. So, unfortunately, that wastes the graze. Yeah, but that's fine. <clears throat> still got about nine points of damage on him. Because he still resisted to them bullets, but you hit him. Snackbot. Hmm. Can I just like Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll move kind of um Uh, oh man, I don't want to clip the dog. Uh, okay, let just... me check the poofs on the fang collar real quick because it mentions their stats there. It mentioned they have HP because if they don't have HP, you can just blast through them and they won't get hurt. It says until they are slain, so they do have HP. It's just probably the normal HP of a wolf, so you would run the risk of destroying the booth if you tried to beam. Yeah, okay. I'll just move some more. And prepare action to ready coffee. Okay. Snack bot just... Just... You just hear robot running very quickly, little feats. Yep. That will be all. Okay. Justice man. Just 
this is probably gonna end up being painful, but we need to stop the Durgan from going crazy. Okay. And then the dumb part of this plan. <laughs> Bonus action. I'm gonna distract him. Oh. Oh, baby. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Oh. Okay. And what's your spell save, DC? Okay. <clears throat> well, the good news is he failed to save. The bad news, he's now looking at you. Yep. I'll just use that to calm him. If you're going to calm him down, please do it quickly. <laughs> You're not likely to be as fucked. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Alright, that your turn? That was all my actions, yeah. You don't have your you have your hasted action too, my dude. I'm not gonna hit it, I'm not making me more angry. <laughs> <laughs> That's Great. fair. I choose five. <laughs> Move that so I can put the eight the the bar Marcus has over top of terrain. Arvin's turn. He have anything? Oh, he does. What's the range on that? Okay. Oh, wait, shit, I, don't, I didn't really save right, did I? Okay, yeah, no, no, I did. Didn't go well for me anyway. Yeah. Gonna make sure Arvin's in range, so he's gonna get up over here. <clears throat> and then to assist in hopefully keeping this guy distracted and in one spot, Obelisk of Stone. And that breaks compelled duel, so I can't try to It's hit. not going to hit Marcus, you dunce. It creates pillars that block line of sight things. What is he making? A wall. Alright. I like how you made his and now the pro is like, no. Well, I thought you stabbed him with a freaking pillar. No, oh, he can just put uh, those wherever he wants. <clears throat> yes, yes, he can. And to be fair, even if he did, he would have to pin him against the ceiling. There, There is no way those pillars will reach the ceiling of this place. So at worst, it would have pushed him 20 feet in the air. So terrain behind you suddenly forms a wall. Actually, no, let me move that over here. There's now a wall. You have your back to a wall that is between you and the monster. How high is the wall? Uh, it says something. They are... 20 feet? Let's see. It's a yeah. diameter of 5 feet up to a height of 20 feet. So yeah, it's a 20 foot wall. That's... Oh. So, that... He can walk around it, yes, but it's still directly in the line of sight of the thing. Most of the stone is a fucking cool spell. <clears throat> oh, 
All right, that's his turn. Uh, Fenless. <laughs> I get to finally do something. Yeah, because there's some rain. There's an area around the monster that isn't full of friendlies, at least right now. Nah, the boof is looking is, is making a move, <laughs> so you're gonna have to cast quick. It blocks like he, like Marcus can't see the monster through the wall. If that's what you're asking, Rin. No, I'm doing Gosh. mass cure wounds on everybody. Oh no, it's still afraid of him. It just, uh, it would have had disadvantage on things while Marcus was in line of sight. Okay. So. But at the moment, it means Marcus can't see it. <laughs> Who knows how well that's gonna go. definitely gonna slap my shit, so. Oh, mass cure wounds, okay. That should hit basically everyone who needed HP around. I did my math, right? Uh, yeah, because even if you just drunk it on yourself, yeah. it'll hit. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it also means it'll hit Marcus, too. Wow, I'm Let's... one HP away from full. <laughs> Damn straight. This means the actual Marcus token is... Oh, wow, he's not actually at full HP. I thought he would be from that, but nope, he's still short a little bit from full. And that's my turn. <clears throat> Worth noting, once you send out that wave of healing and it hits Marcus, you see the flames on him, like, flicker, and he, like, kind of staggers a little bit. Oh. You don't know what it means, but it has some other effect on him besides healing him. Because before he burst into flames, he did look kind of hurt. Interesting. <clears throat> so yeah, that your turn? Yes. All right. Padma, you're up. There is now a wall a just, and a justice between Angry Durgan and Monster. Good, because that's not what Padma's going to be worrying about. She's going to step closer to Marcus and use four charges of the Titan Master Ward on him. Okay. Uh, you can use up to three for that, not four. Oh. Then let me retry that. <laughs> it feels more... <laughs> Yeah, you roll max on every single fucking die. <laughs> Lowers the level, heals more. Well, he's now back at his maximum of four of two hundred and forty-two HP. Christ. He's a level twenty fighter, man, and he I has know. a lot of con. I know this. The only way he could probably have more HP is feats and or barbarian. barbarian. <laughs> I think I actually have tough. I'd have to look at his character sheet again. Does he have that? I'll check later. And again, <clears throat> when it hits him, he... You actually see the flames are, like, starting to, like, die down a little bit. And he's sort of, like, one hand, like, goes to his head and he's, like, shaking his head. It's doing something else besides just, you know, mending his wounds. Although you get the feeling at this point he it might not be working much anymore. Also, how many charges on your Tide Master's Ward do you have left, Twin? If I think those were the first time I used them today, so I have nine. Uh, Tidal Wave was part of that. Tidal Wave was a spell from that, so you cast used one from that as well. So that's four. You've total. used four total. <clears throat> da, 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 da. Actually, holy shit, let me check something. I say, wait, I'm doing a divine weapon here. That should be doing a... something. <laughs> so I wonder if that's going to affect it at all. Well, not divine. It's just very ancient magical. You are using the uh, Dancer Sash equivalent of uh, Excalibur, after all. Hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, my mistake. Tidal Wave costs three charges to cast, so you've used six. I have to charge. Yeah, you're halfway through it right now. <clears throat> you also, curiously, as you do that, you start hearing a rhythm of some sort. You're not sure what it is, but it sounds almost like the running of water set to the tune of a drum, a tambourine. You're not sure. Hmm. For the record, only Padma is hearing that. Hmm. Oh, snap. All right, that your turn? Also, Bardic Inspiration to Victoria is like, you're his friend. Maybe you can help. Okie dokie. Let me just, uh, inspired. All right, Rhea. She's going to move over here and ready in action to grab Marcus if he tries to run past the justice. And that will be her turn. Victoria. <clears throat> going to approach the edge of the, the glow <clears throat> and just like loudly calling out to Marcus, it's fine, I'm okay. I'm going to use another bardic inspiration on him. So he technically has two. Let me just mark that. Uh, what the fuck was the other thing? You don't know what's going on, man. Um, fuck, what the fuck? Where was it? Where'd it go? I had a thing for this. Ah! Not gonna lie, I'm looking at the red bar and all I think is that under rage meter. Well, it hasn't let, gone let me up. give you a little insight as to what's been going on. If you haven't noticed already, one bar is much more full. Well, yeah, I know. said. I'm just saying, the red bull that isn't as full, is that an enraged meter? You don't know. Yeah, I noticed when the red bar appeared. Then I had suspicions, and then they were true. Mm-hmm. You, you have a lot of suspicions. you having suspicions about things in general. Pretty, pretty good thing to have. <clears throat> um, what the fuck was it? Actually, yeah, that's that's just gonna be her turn, just calling out to him like that, and hoping for the best. <clears throat> All right, big boy, hit me. Hit me. He's <laughs> shaking his head a little bit. <clears throat> And he then, like, looks in the direction where he last saw the thing and just keeps looking between that and terrain. And he's gonna... Compelled duel. He needs to make a wisdom save. Try to move away from it. Oh, for compelled duel, what constitutes a harmful spell? Just anything that does damage. damage status damage or status effect. So if you try to hold if you cast hold person on him, that would be a harmful spell. Okay. Thank you. It because that if anything that forces a saving throw counts as harm. Oh no. <clears throat> So he has advantage on the save for this. Lower roll was a nine total. The second, which he burned an inspiration on, let me just mark that down to one for him, uh, total out to 27. He can walk away from terrain with no consequence. Let's see. 
Or can he move you up? He can get right on up there. Actually, no, he can get here. And then can he get up to it from there? Because at 15. No, but he's certainly going to try. He's still after that thing. But what, what about Roy and Rhea? Oh, right. Rhea. All the actions to try to stop. Thank him. you for reminding me. I yeah. forgot. But like I was snacking around this morning, wasn't Roy and Rhea holding for exactly that reason? All right. Let's, uh... Can I let's, use let's my attempt to hold... Can hmm? I use my reaction to assist Rhea and give her advantage on her grapple check? No. Okay. Because you were not readying your action to do so beforehand. Okay. That's fair. Well, let's start with Roy, because... Let me just check thing... Okay. <clears throat> the fuck? Why is that there? Well, he burned that last inspiration to succeed on the wisdom saving throw against old person, which unfortunately ends compelled duel. Roy wasn't quite aware of what terrain was up to. So that didn't work. Let's try Rhea's attempt to grapple. That doesn't work. I have a thing I can do. All right, Rhea, good job. How well do you stack up against Marcus? I don't know how to resolve this. They had the exact same result. They fall on heads and both fall to the ground. <laughs> uh... Hey, you asked. Uh, I think, I mean, it depends on you, but I think a tie usually rules in favor of the defender. In other words, in this case, Marcus. Uh, I think my option's funnier. Oh, I'm not saying your option's not funny or bad, I'm just saying in terms of game mechanics. But that's just a guess. Okay, yeah, grappler, the grappler loses the tie when making a new grapple. So Marcus is walking over there. He's not like walking particularly quickly, but he's sort of like meandering his way there. He see he still seems pissed, but significantly less so. And you're actually starting to kind of see him amongst the flames a little bit now. It's not just flames vaguely shaped like a person. <clears throat> well, technically I can do this because he's probably forecaster. Get back here, you asshole. I mean, he probably has fucking 18 strength anyway, so what? It's worth a try. Uh, okay, as he gets about, you would trigger that as he would have gotten here. And indeed, you succeed and pull him back, but all it does is mean he now only gets here, because he just keeps walking. And it also does damage to him. As you pulled him back and then... Ugh! Minus. Okay, hold on. To range. Just dealt to that and I'll do this token. And uh, as you jolt him with electricity, however, you seem to unintentionally cause the flames that were starting to flicker to reignite with more ferocity. Oh, good. <laughs> I get the feeling he, that red bar is a lot... Past terrain. I have a feeling that red bar has a lot smaller cap to reach than the blue bar. <laughs> no? Eh, actually, you don't know. I double-checked to make sure it did it, and I'm like... All right, that's Marcus's turn. Because he's just dazed enough to not immediately think to dash. Now it's the Sphere Boy's turn. <clears throat> he hears, looks behind him, sees Marcus is coming, and just 
you hear this bizarre just shrieking noise and uh, this is a high level of terror to force him to run away <laughs> oh dear Okay, so here's how this is going to work because a lot of people are going to need to be making me a lot of a few things. If you're within 50 feet of Spooky Boy there, I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw. If you are immune to fear, you have advantage. If you are not immune to fear, if you have advantage on saves against fear, you roll flat. If you have no advantage or anything either way, you roll with disadvantage. So my immunity grants me advantage, you were saying? Just oh, yes. Cool. Okay. Uh, this is a wisdom save. Uh, Robots have no fear. Thank God I have advantage. Holy shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm so glad I have advantage because that sucked. <laughs> mm -hmm. See? Oh, oh no, boof. Boof has to make a flat roll. Oh, wow, Boof's fine. Oh, I have to make a wisdom save throw. Hold on. Yep. Air Force One is up, so I'm in the middle of that. Ah, fair. What am I saying? Mugs have fucking every saving throw he has. Okay. Uh, do you know your wisdom mod offhand, Padma? No, I, I'm good. I can okay. hit it. So, wisdom... Nope. Okay. <clears throat> if you did not roll at least a 20, you are frightened. Oh, yay. So let me just uh, click on some people and mark some... some, some scares a scare on Padma. There is a scare on Arvin. And there is a scare on... Actually... I think constructs are actually immune to fear. Hold on. And I had advantage. I would say if he's not a living thing, he would be the exception and have a true immunity to fear. But it's not my monster. Yeah, I remember bringing this up last week. Like, oh yeah, right, right, right. He's he's beep boop. Um, beep boop. What's a fear? Oh yeah, I had a thing for that. Instead of being frightened, he is stunned for one round. Oh, okay. So basically just his next turn is skipped. Error, Which error. Like some messed up, some messed up game of Uno. He 404 the robot for a turn. <laughs> <clears throat> mm-hmm. The question is, did Rhea pass? She rolled a 23. Yes. Though. And Marcus rolled a twenty-one with advantage. Oh, that would have been funny. Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, never mind. You didn't have to roll at all. That's right. Actually, <laughs> oh, never mind. You. <laughs> oh, that would have been been way worse if he'd failed. <laughs> Shiakyo is a little shocked at the feeling of fear creeping into his bones. <clears throat> attempting yeah, every, to creep into his bones. Everyone who has, you know, at least, like, Celestine, like, just sort of shook it off because he's just, he's, his, like, race gives him advantage on it, so he's not, he's just sort of used to being brave. You, in your case, you feel like, no, fear should not grip you. You felt it clawing at the back of your head, and you just sort of shake it off and throw surprise, like, what? No, 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 no. The fuck is this? 
And Wait, does Alias say that in my head, or who was like, no, no, no? That that's like you mentally sort of oh, like, okay. oh no, 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 go away, you little bitch. <laughs> you rolled a twenty-five. How? <laughs> yeah. Out of this justice, what is fear? Yeah. <clears throat> you actually hear Arvin just like, huh, huh, what the? And he's like looking at his hands and like shaking. He seems very confused. Damn it. And, uh, Giacchio and everyone else in me, and the uh, terrain, both of you notice this. Once that feeling of, like, the fear effect, just, like, you push it out of your minds because, you little bitch, we're fucking awesome and justice. You now realize something you hadn't noticed the whole time you'd been in here. You just had this sort of weird pins and needles feeling on, like, the back of your neck. And it, you, like, sort of, like, instantly the kind of scratch, it's it won't go away at all. So you just like Fuck feel like weird, like concerned, like hair on the back of your neck standing up, feeling that won't stop. Ah, fuck. And that was its action to do that, so it can't do anything else. So, Giacchio, you're up. And that's the end of its turn, or moves rest of the way, which puts the creature oh, yeah, under beam. it. It's time. Bang. And I forget, it seemed like fire was doing normal damage, correct? Fire seemed like it was doing normal damage. Okay. Let's see, what's going here? It's right on top of his head. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that, Tyrion. Hmm. He made the save, so he only took half damage, but you still, like, feel the orb strike and impact. You hear it, like, scream. All right. 35 will put me there, because I'm still in bright light. Since I'm not quite in range. I'm going to throw my three Eldritch Blasts. The uh, second one hits first and third don't. And instead of a pistol shot through Mystic Frenzy, I'm going to use my bonus action to throw out my hand with a little bit of blood spurting off the fingertips as mystical chains fling from my fingertips, and I'm going to cast Blood Curse of Binding Amplified. Mm. So I need to take a D8 of damage. <laughs> That's fine. Amplifying it makes the curse ongoing. Just in case he tries to run anywhere, or okay. somehow claws his way through the wall. Okay, let me make sure I have this right. What was this? Oh yeah, he's he is not strong at all. He he is weak, boy. That was. Yeah, it was that. Okay. Nope, he is now stuck. <clears throat> Boop. So, it's going to be there a while. <laughs> yep, it's going to be there a minute. <laughs> he's he's he, he ain't going fucking nowhere. All right. Boof time. Uff. And I'm intermittently scratching at my head at the annoyance of this pins and needles feeling. As soon as Marcus moves, the the the, the wolf pack like continues to stay out of the out of the light. You get the feeling they know something you don't, but you're not sure what. No one's given me an explanation I've asked for. <laughs> Well, fair. The boofs can't answer because they are boofs. Well, I did ask aloud, and the three people I assumed would know have not said anything yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Well, to be fair, they are kind of focused because their friend is uh, giving no. them some hecking concerns. No, he understands the lack of response, but at the same token, he's One, got he hasn't gotten two, a response. <laughs> three, four, fucking god, Celestine.
And again, as the little... Whoa, no, 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 no. There needs to be a minus on that. His HP is not going to be set to 13. Good God. Hey, fight's over sooner than we expected. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> Even as Celestina starts tearing into him with these, with the, you know, his divine given, like, ferocity. Us, apart from the fan color, just being, you know, equivalently, you know, axe caliber. It still doesn't seem like, even with knowing that, this thing is just resistant to a lot of damage. For... Which, to be fair, you kind of see it, now that you get closer and you see Celsius being on it, its height does look pretty fucking thick. Like, two C's, all caps thick. So you can understand a bit more now that you're, you know, close enough to observe it getting, you know, the shit beat out of it by a dog with two axes. It's just like, damn, this thing is sturdy. Jonah. I, well, apparently you can't restrain the giant angry dragon because the chains just melt. So I'm just going to kill what he's trying to kill. Just read something. Real quick to make sure I'm not about to kill somebody I don't want to. Okay, good. I don't want to kill anybody. Time to drop the hammer. I thought Meteor was bad. I got something bigger than Meteor now. I have a comet. <laughs> actually, comets are actually smaller, technically. Uh, yeah, but uh, look at them damage numbers. Jesus Christ. Set it on him. I can skip up to eight people. So. Yeah. And you will affect the boofs everyone. with that, by the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. everybody and the boost from getting blown up. <laughs> you were just enough to not catch terrain. Well, I had to move it up to catch Rhea. Terrain's fine. I just needed to get one extra person out of the range. Mm. Because there were nine people and I can skip eight. Well, it doesn't fucking matter. You also just pff, annihilated the wall. Like, those three pillars, there's just now, uh... uh like... <laughs> like, from where they were... Like, all of this business is now just, like, full of, like, burnt rubble. Yeah, the wall's gone. <laughs> yeah, like, the, the space is there on, like, this whole... Actually, I gotta fucking mark it now, because that's a pretty big area that is now difficult terrain because you blew up the fucking walls. That were... No. Let me undo that. Right here. There we go. So that area is now a difficult terrain if it's within that gray box, because it's now full of charred rubble. Okay. <laughs> I was waiting I'm to gonna make fucking joke slap for his you. <laughs> I, I just need to know if Matt and Mercer ever found out the fucking rule for reverse inspiration. I need to know this. Because, well, it's also a good thing you still exempted that because, uh, or at least, well, Marcus would have been fine, mostly, because he did make the save. I rolled it for him anyways, would just in case. Pissed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That's a lot that. of enrage bar going up. <laughs> he was yeah. overfilled like three times with all that fire damage. 
How do you know fire damage would hurt him? Well, even without the fire damage, I still 36 damage to the face. Hmm, true. And 17 did a pretty sizable chunk of the bar when I hit with the, with the lightning lure, so... Let me just make sure I have this right. Bah. What is your number? Okay. Yes, that's true. Spoop just got hit for a combined 93 damage and he doesn't save. Mm. He he did make the save, sadly. Just barely. He met the DC. Still 47 damage. Yeah, he rolled a 9 on the die and made it. It's a pretty good deck save on this thing. So that's... Fucking... Right. Minus that, and then... Oh, and how close is he? Oh, 90. Perfect. I can still thing. Calculator. Save me. This, this. Right by two equals... Okay. Damage has been dealt. And then bonus action. Fucking god! Boop. Jesus Christ. He wants this thing dead about as much as, as do, freaking as Marcus do does, apparently. I almost do more damage with the firebolt than I do with the goddamn comet. <laughs> to be fair, you are technically rolling it as effectively 20th level, so 20th Pretty level much, plus, yeah. because of all the fucking shit you have to make your fire better. <laughs> Good lord. For playing over specialization, I can do one thing. That's kill it really well. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, I anticipated this. It is immune to crits. Darn. Well, it still takes 33 damage. Yeah, you still shoot it in the face. Can you imagine if freaking Kel got a bunch of crits on this thing? Oh yeah, no, that's... I'll be honest, that's the whole reason why. Is Kel alone. Is None of y'all motherfuckers matter. Kel... Just one-rounded it. Oh well, moving on. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that is all Johnny. Alright, Roy. Roy's turn. Stop the dragon. Roy has a different level of or no. Okay, to be fair to you, Snick, you don't get to add your level to bonus damage on crits like Kel does, so that's why. Kel has a bit of an unfair advantage on you in the crit department. We all get punished because the booth is broken. I'm trying to not punish you guys too hard, but this is one of those things where it's just like, mm. <sighs> Alright, he's gonna go over here and... He's actually at most of a loss. He's gonna try hold a person again. The existence of the booth damage output is why terrain is a tank and not a damage deal. And yet he still does a fuck ton. Cause Rune yeah, Fencers, yo. See, can you imagine if he was a uh, assailment instead? Well <laughs> yeah true. Arvin can cause could in theory cause some ruckus, but uh currently he's too frightened to do anything about it. Yeah he can't he can't get closer to the thing. Marcus makes the save so he is not hold personed. All right, Snack, you're up. Okay, well, I'm going to.
going to move up here. And I'm basically going to do the same thing as my last turn. Just attempt to head graze and shoot. Well, congratulations, you successfully grazed him this time. He is stunned. Well, he has to make the saving throw. Oh, you're right, he does. Will he do it? His deck save is actually pretty good. I was about to say he probably will. That, that would be so much. Just barely. <laughs> Just barely. But you still pew pew him successfully. Mm hmm. Snackbot skips his turn because Snackbot is stunned by the weird attempted fear energies and shakes out of it at the end of his turn. Justice! You are V-Fast. Yeah, but I kind of need to stay within range of them for this to actually work, so... Make sure this hits everybody it needs to. Yes. yes. Good. I'm just finally hit this button. I haven't hit once this entire campaign. Would Roy have received some extra healing from the Halo thing? Oh yeah, uh, the other D6, let me roll that. Oh, uh, one point of healing. Also, for reference, Rin, the moment you do pop a alliance to do that because of how I rolled this for Paladins, you immediately cleanse fear from both of them. Nice. Because that is a different effect, and in fact, Terrain, once you set turn on your Oriath, you no longer feel that pins and needles feeling on the back of your neck. The fuck? Wait, yeah, I was about to ask, what's with that? What happened the fuck to your token name? The, the name is because my push to talk button keeps trying to Tilda in the freaking name bar when I'm trying to talk. Let me fix that. There we go. Easy game. Crisis averted. So that's that. I still have a shit ton of mood and the haste action, so. Mm hmm. So. Now, Jockio doesn't feel the pins and needles either. Oh, yeah. Now, Jockio doesn't feel the pins and needles that you're feeling either. As soon as you walk away, though, Arvin starts to feel it, however. Mm. There. This thing tried to claw its way through the wall, and it didn't work, which means this thing's pretty sturdy. But I'm gonna do this because I can. Oh. It's the wrong button. I have it set for an attack for you, remember? That's for the explosion. I just want to click the button as an attack. It didn't. No. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Ah, ha, ha, ha. And he's bound by me, so he's guaranteed not moving. That's why I picked that one. <laughs> yep. Bitch. I mean, I could always make the save, but... Yeah, but the save comes at the end of the turn. Therefore, it can't move. <laughs> Alright, you, you, you give him a very sound slapping. He's still up. Action, which I can use just to smack him 
and a bonk for good measure. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, no, that unfortunately misses. After the first hit and just lightning tears across its body, it just like sort of ducks a little bit in the second on the follow-up swing. And it's now a little bit confused to who to be afraid of because like there's the boofening, there's justice, there's a dragon. Fuck. <laughs> probably simply annoyed at me because he can't run away from all this. <laughs> I'll be honest, he doesn't know why it's stuck. It wasn't looking at you when you cast it. It was looking at Marcus still. That's the fun thing. Is now if it tries to run away anyway, attack opportunity, I can take it right back. You, there, there's going to be a lot of problems for this, but that's your turn. Assume yes. All right, Arvin. Okay, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna keep it simple and pop this on I hit, hit the fucking button, damn you. Thank you. Pop that on Rhea and then Throws a knife at the baddie. Heals a monk and deals some damage to the bad. And sort of keep going a little bit. He's he's prepared up over here. Actually, no, it should be right there. Fenless. Let's see. What is the purple circle that's overlapping? That's terrain. It's friendly aura. It's terrain. That's Ren. And the gray box around the gray box is rough terrain. You would it's harder to walk okay. through that. And then rule question on Druid. If I shape shifted into a wolf, would I be able to communicate with the spectral wolves? You can just can't speak with animals. Let him turn into a wolf, God. I'm like I'm not saying you can't, but I mean but I don't have speak with am animals slotted. Ah. That's hmm. the problem. You could probably get you, as a druid, you would know, like, you can get a close enough facsimile by turning into the animal if you don't have the ability to just, you know, turn on the translator. So you can at least kind of understand the intent of why they've been outside of the or if that's what your plan is. Yeah, let's do that. So okay. I'm going to shapeshift into a wolf. All right, that's your action. Let me look up uh, five E wolves. A wolf has. While you're a wolf, you have 40 feet of movement speed. So you can. Yeah. The farthest you could get would be about here. Assuming you don't want to go into the glow yourself. Right. Alright, I'll stop there. Alright. <laughs> you you're you're trying to inquire to the wolves as to why they're not going in. Mm -hmm. Unleash the owl. Uh the closest wolf turns to you and everyone else just hears this like low howl back and a little growling. 
Eufens Lewis translated his tent as it is the beast's territory. We do not enter. The beast. It, the it, it, it's in a way of just like they respect it, like there is something higher up on the food chain nearby, and they don't want to get close because it sounds mad. All right, that your turn? Yes, it is. Okay. Padma. I'm going to be very reckless, but you know what? Fuck it. Oh, boy. One step further, goddammit. Another three charges, but you know what, big guy? You need to calm down. Where is it? There it is. Because I remembered you said there was that rhythm I was hearing. Mm hmm. So a few things happen once you do that. Oh, baby. For starters, both of Marcus's tokens need to be at full health again. Once you do that, you hear the rhythm again, and it sounds, it sounds like a festival on the edge of a river okay. now. So you, it's like the, like the gypsy dance troupe kind of sound a bit. Uh huh. It's very strange, but you hear it. And it's like, it, it's very hard to describe because it literally feels like it's flowing. The beat is going with the sounds of the water itself. Uh huh. And you're still not sure what the fuck. But uh, also, once that hits it, the flames for a second just almost completely die out on him. But then come back and it's now just like a silhouette of himself with occasional moves of him. He looks burned. Like his body is like burned from whatever the fuck is going on in the few glimpses you get. And the, the overall aura gets smaller. Not your turn. Along with the inspiration, I was like, Marcus Ragnar, come to your senses. She doesn't know what's going on, but damn it, chill. Okay, I will, I'll slap the inspiration on him. He like seems to vaguely regard your comment. Like he heard it, but he's not sure what he heard. Like, you notice him, like, sort of look in your direction, but then shake his head and focus back on the monster. <clears throat> Rhea is going to run over right in front and just put herself in front of it and just say, please, stop. That's her turn. Victoria going to burn that inspiration to make a prestation check to try to calm Marcus down. Let me see. What is her? Prestation is charisma. Charisma is pretty good. And uh, what size is the inspiration die off of you, Tori? Uh. Oh, wait, no, I know how to check that. Bard. Or level 15, so it is a d10. 
or no, my mistake. It's D12. Pretty big inspiration. But let's see how well, how well Victoria does with this. Pretty good. <laughs> As Victoria's turn, as she says that, you notice his like all of his movements just seem to stop for a second. That's her turn. His turn. One second. Yor gets smaller again. And he like actually looks in her direction. Be over soon. And then he just walks past Rhea and up to the monster. And not like the angrily like stalking for just like this sort of weirdly serene situation. And once he approaches it, the monster just like starts freaking the fuck out even more. And let me see if this. Oh, fucking baby. <laughs> Do you care to guess what number I just rolled on the die? Nat 20. 20 or a nat 1, one or the other. Natural 20. Too bad it's good crits. <laughs> it thinks that'll save it from this. <laughs> oh, man. Because uh, you guys fortunately succeeded in filling the blue bar. <laughs> Yay. Good night, All right, Darian. Good night, Darian. Good night, night. It's a very good thing. You don't want the red bar to have been full. I'll tell you why after the stream. Don't worry about it. It was an rage meter. Don't you lie. <laughs> I'll explain after the thing. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> you see Marcus walk up to this thing. Grab it by the face. And... Or grab it by the back of the head. Spin it around. Slam it into the wall. And then slam it to the ground. <clears throat> As he's making his attacks, hold on. Because I'm pretty sure these hit. Did I pull that right for those? Other ones? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All all of those hit. Mm-hmm. The last one was the crit. Because he gets four attacks. <clears throat> Two attacks, he grabs it, slams it to the ground grabs it by both arms and puts his foot on its back. It just starts screaming as he rips one arm completely off and sears the hand off at the wrist on the other. <laughs> Throws the arm aside and the creature like is still like trying to it's scrambling trying to move but it can't because the chains are basically from Giacchio's spell are keeping it in place. It turns in with its, like, stump arm, like, pathetically holds up. Please! Mercy! And you just see... That's adorable. You see the image of the flaming draconic aura around him sort of flare up again, and then coalesce. Basically right in front of his face into just a single orb of fire that he kind of grasps for a second. Looks down... When has that ever stopped you? And then just eats the orb and just unleashes a torrent of fire. <laughs> and the, let me just uh, roll. Punch it with it now 
I'm sad. No. <laughs> no. You. <laughs> you see, that last one was a special attack just for this fight. As a very high base amount of damage. And uh, let me show you what it rolls on a crit. Good thing you can't crit. Uh, <laughs> the damage type doesn't matter. Like this, <laughs> this is the thing I said specifically for if you guys succeeded. <laughs> And it was his turn, which it managed to survive to Marcus's turn. So you just watch as this fear demon is from its uh, meager 27 HP, just fucking reduced to ash. Alongside this really, really sickening scream as it's slowly just completely immolated. <laughs> Back to the point where there's not even ash. Just gone. Hit the delete button. Thank you. <clears throat> and once the jet of flame stops, Mark is just like stares. Oop, oop, I can get rid of that now. And then just collapses unconscious immediately. <laughs> just. <Yep. laughs> He's on the ground. He looks physically fine, but there's still like aspects of his like appearance that look like scorched or burnt, which you're not sure should be possible. But on that note, that's where we'll end the session. I shall. And uh, I'll explain some things I once uh, Jinx is building out the stream. All right, and like you said, that's going to do it for the stream as well this evening. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. We typically do this weekly on Saturday night, starting at about 5 p.m. Pacific, but because uh, of reasons, namely that uh, Padma helped create Victoria, so Marcus wanted her around for this, so we started late this evening. Um, if you aren't already, consider throwing my channel a follow, so that way you can get notified via Twitch directly when I go live. Other avenues that I announce when I go live are via my Twitter, which is twitter.com slash jinxmcninja, as well as my Discord server, the Lounge, which also doubles as a nice place to hang out outside a stream. Um, I will be live tomorrow afternoon, starting at about 3 p.m. Pacific, with our weekly Wings of the Twelve Raid in Final Fantasy XIV. And, uh, yeah, if you guys really enjoyed the show, consider throwing a sub my way. It's a really great way to help out the channel and show your support. Um, it is in no way required, of course, but, again, it's always appreciated, and I'm grateful for the subs that I do have. Um, I appreciate it more than you might know. Um, but, yeah, until tomorrow afternoon, guys. Peace.